Hello everybody, this is Sean Gibson, the executive editor of GamingIllustrated.com and this review is for the Roxio Game Capture HD Pro. This is a device that allows you to capture, edit, and share videos from your console game system. So an Xbox 360, a PS3, a Nintendo Wii, or other devices really, even an iPhone, if you can plug it in. Uh, on the unit itself, you can plug in via HDMI or component, and this will allow you to import your footage straight into your computer so that you can edit it and share it and even stream it. That's one of the big things that Roxio touts as one of the competitive advantages of this product is that you can stream straight to Justin TV. You just push a little button and boom, you're off and running. So that is a pretty cool feature. So at a high level, this unit just came out. It is October of 2012 as this review comes out. And it is one of the only units that offers that streaming capability. There have been quite a few units before to come out in 2011 and 2012 to do some game capture, but this is the one that really only does footage specific to streaming. Now, certainly there are ways to stream from other units, but given the price point, which is around 150 bucks, and we've seen it a little lower even around the internet, uh, that's quite a value indeed. So what you're seeing here is Madden 2012 as played on the PS3, the Ravens and the Broncos. We're gonna switch over in just a little bit. Here we go. This is the Roxio Game Capture software. And so what you're seeing, uh, this is the interface. It's pretty easy. Roxio has in mind here that this is the novice gamer. This is not the hardcore professional video editor in mind, but this is the average gamer, if you will, that hasn't done too much of this, that's jumping into that space. So there's all these settings that you can put in if you are a bit of a medium to advanced user. Uh, and there's the link right there to Justin TV. I was really impressed with how easy it was to stream. You just set it up, uh, you set it in, put in your account settings, and off you go. Now you wanna check your bandwidth, obviously, and do some of those other things I was showing. But uh, in terms of input, it, you know, it automatically detects where you're gonna get the footage from. In the settings, you only have this M2S, M2TS file. That's the only thing you can do. I don't know why it's there. Uh, I confirmed with Roxio, they have no plans to change that. Uh, you can set the quality, which will alter the compression. Uh, and then ultimately, if you hit that start your stream button, that big blue button, boom, up comes. Uh, Justin TV and then you're off and you're streaming. It's that simple. Uh, it also has a hook into Twitter so that every time you start a stream it will also alert all your Twitter followers. It makes it really easy for us at Gaming Illustrated if we want to start a stream and alert all our users that it's just one click and it's off and running. So we were really impressed with the ease of use. Again, this was definitely in mind for the novice gamer or for perhaps the hardcore gamer that just simply hasn't done this before. If you have done it before and you're used to the old Roxio, which is a standard definition unit, you're gonna get a lot of pleasure out of this one because it works extremely well to capture that footage and get it on your computer as well as stream it, which is something pretty new. So let's talk installation. You're gonna think super simple and it is. You basically plug in the unit via USB, you install the software, and then on the other side, the downside to this is that it didn't come with all the cables necessary. You're gonna e either need to have some extra cables on hand, or you're going to need to go out and buy your own. Uh, I went to Walmart and for 20 bucks, I was able to get this cabling system that on one side had one for Xbox 360, PS3, and for a Wii, and then on the other side of it is component, you plug it in, you're off ready to go. Of course, you're not gonna be able to do 1080p capture, but you don't want to do 1080p capture. Don't get hung up on that because you it's just, it's a hog in terms of all the amount of space you're gonna need on your system to be capturing 1080p. Plus, it's not practical for streaming. So there's really no good use case unless you're a video editor for E3 or something and it's gonna be broadcast at the Super Bowl, which you're not gonna be doing. So uh, we recommend definitely stay within the 720p space when you're gonna be doing your capturing. So going through the features, uh, you can capture your footage, you can stream and commentate live. There are built-in hooks for Justin TV. And we notice on the box it says, Twitch TV, and there was definitely some hoops we had to jump through in order to make that happen. The built-in hooks for Twitch TV were not there, but it was there for Justin TV, and it was super duper simple in order to do that. You just set it up, uh, your account, and then you hit the button, and you're off and running, and it's streaming, and the stream quality was actually amazing. We're really, really impressed with that. Um, you can share the videos straight away, one click with YouTube or Facebook. There's a video editing software in here that's also really, really slick. And it's, again, in mind for, I don't want to say the new, but definitely for the novice user uh, and the intermediate user. If you're going to be um, you know, a snob about it, like maybe I am on occasion when it comes to video editing since I've been doing this for years and years, then maybe it doesn't have all the bells and whistles and hooks uh, that you might want. But if you just go, hey, I want to capture footage and I want to add my commentary and I want to share it on YouTube, then this is the unit. This is absolutely the unit you're going to want to get.
So some of the positives here, ease of use, very quickly you're able to get up and running no matter what console you have. There is uh, quite a bit of customization you can do when it comes to the quality level of the import. Uh, and being able to stream is super amazingly easy and uh, that is definitely a competitive advantage with this Roxio product. Uh, a lot of the other units that we've seen and we reviewed have not had those built-in hooks you know, for Twitch TV. Uh, we haven't seen anyone have it, but uh, for Justin TV, uh, it was right there in the Roxio again. That was a huge thing that um, we really hadn't been uh, seeing an all-in-one shop to, hey, I want to stream and I want to edit and I want to share. Uh, this is definitely that unit and for the price point of about 150 bucks and we've seen it lower if you shop around or maybe find a coupon code then you know <laughs> all the more better for the roxio game capture hd so uh you know you can pass this through uh the way i had it set up i have it hooked up to my gaming pc rig uh because i want to be able to do all the editing right here uh, as well as the stream uh, and then i actually hooked it in through the hdmi port into my monitor uh, i've got a nice monitor that has hdmi port and then the music plays through there uh, for the game so uh, that's how I said it. You can certainly do this a uh, hundred different ways, and yes, I just threw a stupid pick six, but it's not easy playing Madden and doing a video review. So. so some of the negatives that come with the Roxio, uh, you know, if you are an advanced user, you might be a little frustrated that it only natively captures in this weird M2TS proprietary video format that you're not going to be able to drop into, say, a Premiere. Pro program that I use, or uh, you know, a, a Mac program, for example, uh, you're only you're kind of stuck to Video Wave. You got to drop it in, then you got to export it, and then exporting. You know, there's all these presets, but um, you can't do anything else other than a preset. There's no customization in terms of well, if I want to tweak the video for uh, this much quality, but this much, you know, this format, you're not going to be able to do that. Even though there seems to be buttons in there meant to be able to unlock that kind of stuff we confirmed with Roxio they're not going to open that up they just really wanted to aim for that mid-level consumer to the uh, to the noob that uh, you know you just want to do the basic stuff and you want to do some of the intermediate stuff and there's certainly a lot of presets in there that they've given you so it's not like you're really stuck into one little format or you could only export to YouTube that's certainly not the case uh, but if you want to have that super customization actually be editing in your editor of choice well, you're going to have to, again, jump through a, a little bit of a hoop to get there. Uh, that said, the editor in there, it, it's not bad. This video wave, uh, I was able to import footage from uh, capturing on the screen in Camtasia, and then I dropped it in here. I'm able to do the voice narration super easy. So uh, overall, for the price, I mean, this is an amazing product. Uh, I think it's a great buy. I think if you're in the market to uh, capture your video and do commentaries and upload them to YouTube, and then you also want to do streaming, then this is... For the price, one of the better products we certainly have seen. All right, so that said, let's do some play-by-play -play here. We got Joe Flacco back to pass right over the middle of Jimmy Smith. He catches it. That's a tough catch. And it looks like those Ravens uh, were only playing to the end of the first quarter here. They're in hurry-up mode. They are driving after that horrible pick six <laughs> thrown by Flacco. He is back on the shotgun again. He's drop way back, and Dennis Pittacat makes the catch. Uh, this is kind of fun. You know, you could be doing this. You could be doing your own play-by-play -play with Madden. Uh, you could be uploading in YouTube, find followers. You could be streaming this and make friends. Uh, I don't know what kind of friends you'd be making, uh, but if you uh, kind of have a lonely life, then so be it. <laughs> but I can tell you that you'll be having fun, and I think it's really cool to be able to capture footage, especially, you know, for us when we're writing reviews. Uh, it just makes it all the better as Flacco drops back to pass. Hail Mary! Jimmy Smith! Touchdown, Ravens! Oh, what a catch! And uh, certainly the Roxio Game Capture HD Pro is a catch as well. Thanks for watching.